Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.5 and 17.5.1 which should most likely be just around the corner. As you probably know by now, Apple has just released 17.5 like a week ago, but we have some really serious problems with this update. Now it has some bugs that actually Apple needs to fix as soon as possible, but we're gonna talk about the release date for 17.5.1 in a minute here. Let's first off take a look at the problems that users are facing currently with 17.5, which I think are really a big issue issue now first of all some more like minor problems now one of them a bug here that i have also experienced myself is that on safari when you set your download location for your files right here under downloads now what i do on my device i usually choose to download the files on my device but what iOS 17.5 is doing is that it's actually redirecting all the downloads back to the iCloud drive. Every time I switch this, anytime I try to download something new, it does redirect them to the iCloud drive. Another one is with the music app. Now, I didn't experience this myself, but a lot of users on Reddit have been reporting this bug where actually Siri is not able to play playlists from the music app. That's a huge problem as well because most of the time when you get in the car or something like that, you will ask Siri to play a, a playlist for you. Now it's not actually able to do that. And another one that I have actually experienced myself as well on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and I have seen reports from other users as well is for iMessage. I don't know if this is specific to 15 Pro Max, it might be on other devices as well, but the iMessage app is stuck on waiting for activation after you reboot your device. And that's actually quite a big problem because you won't be able to activate your iMessage feature. Now, of course, these are bugs that are actually quite annoying, but none of this are as serious as this one right here. There is a bug on iOS 17.5 that is causing alt deleted pictures to reappear on devices and that's a huge privacy violation. So what is happening here is that photos that someone has deleted maybe like two or three years ago are reappearing on the device even though they're completely deleted. And one really serious case right here, a user has reported on Reddit that he has wiped his iPad using the official Apple guidelines before selling it. He sold it to his friend and then after like a year or so, it has reappeared the pictures on the iPad. So basically his friend told him that your old pictures have reappeared on the Photos app. Even though he has deleted them, has wiped entirely the iPad, the pictures have reappeared on the iPad. That is of course a huge, huge problem. Now, in some cases, it, they will probably reappear and you have your iPhone with you, but in some cases you might have sold your iPhone and they will reappear now that it's someone else's iPhone. That's a huge problem. So this is very, very serious and I'm expecting Apple to release an update very, very soon to fix this problem. Now, as far as the update goes, I wouldn't be surprised if Apple releases as soon as Monday or Tuesday. This is again a very serious bug and Apple should take action really, really fast. I believe an update for iOS 17.5.1 should come really soon, as soon as this upcoming week, maybe on 20th or 21st, we should actually see an update for iOS 17.5. If not, I don't know what Apple is doing here because this bug is actually very, very serious. A lot of people will have a lot of pictures that they don't want anyone to see and they will reappear on their devices that maybe they have sold to someone. So Apple should take action and expect an update for iOS 17.5.1 as soon as this upcoming week. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.